in my previous video i had shown you all how to upload a document on ngdrs website for sub registrar offices approval now i am going to show you how to proceed with uploading and filling of other details after the approval of document from sro's office so i have logged into the system and this is the screen what you are going to see first click on document entry now this is a lease date what i had uploaded and which has got approved from sro's office and the sro remarks are over here what what are, they are suggesting as approved and submit resolution of both the parties so i click on this and these are all the functionalities that open up after the approval first general info and property uh, general info property details party details witness fee calculation payment details pre registration summary upload of document data submission and finally you have to take the appointment so for convenience i have pre filled all the details over here and saved it so this is the first page which we have already filled at the time of submission of the document move on to let's move on to the next on the second we have to feed the property details so for this i click on district i fill in the district then whether it is land rural urban i have to select this then these these details of district taluka city village and location then you select on what kind of property it is or the usage of property in my case it is a commercial property a shop which we are giving on lease so once you have keyed in the details we click on save once the details are saved we will get to see the property details over here then we move on to the next we have to insert the party details now the party is a lesser you can see what parties are these since it is a lease we i have to fill in the lesser lessee if there is any poa holder or confirming party i have to fill in these details each time individually now who is the lesser it's a cooperative society i select in our case since it is a cooperative society i have keyed in the cooperative society or else we have to select accordingly now already pre filled these details now we have to select on property once we have selected for which property it is we fill in these details name of cooperative society executor whether that party is executor or not these details we have to fill in address of society registration number of society registration date registration office we enter the pan number of society then comes the name of representative now who is a representative the society will authorize by the way of a resolution that so and so particular individual with so and so designation is approved to sign and authorize on behalf of society also the important thing over here what we have to note is we need to key in the resolution number and date of resolution once this is done we save the same you can see over here this party is the lesser he is for the cooperative society and we have filled pre filled the details for him same thing we have to do in for, for the lazy now one who who is a lazy lazy is one who is going to take it on lease same way we select the property and fill in all the details now lazy is also a cooperative society in our case hence same things apply 
So once we have filled in, we can see the lazy details over here, which have been already uh, keyed in. Now, one who is going to submit the document at sub registrar has to be set as the presenter of document. So in this case, I have kept this person and this bank as the presenter of document. Then we move on to the next. Over here, we fill in the details of the witnesses. which I have already filled in over here. Once we have filled in all these above details, we have to click on save. And once it is saved, we can see the names of witnesses over here. Then we calculate fee. Now, what fee is this? There are two kinds of fees over here, which are going to reflect. One is stamp duty and one is registration fee. We click on the property here again. We need not put anything. Uh, we just have to put, we need not put anything over here. We just have to put average annual rent and click on calculate. If the rent has been already preset by the SRO's office, it is going to reflect automatically over here. Now let me show you an example. I have already uh, calculated the average and annual rent which I am keying in over here. 8,61,061 rupees. Lease period is for a period of 9 years. on this property now we see this is the average annual rent and this is what is calculated by the SRO's office which we are okay with and we click on calculate now we can see over here that this is the same duty amount and this is the registration fee now since this is a cooperative society we are having exemption for stamp duty and we need not pay it so when we have exemption we click on exemption see the rule for exemption if the deed is being done in these and by these entities we need not pay any stamp duty to the government and accordingly the stamp duty will be exempted so in our case it is a cooperative society so i select it as cooperative society click calculate and we can see the exemption details over here we just click this is the final registration amount that we have to pay we click save and next so we reach over here with pre-registration docket now i have to make payment of this chalan now I have to generate uh, first I have to generate a challenge for payment of registration fees we just put name of the presenter uh, email mobile number fees type registration fee rural or urban flag once I click on this I'll get notary term over here so you just click uh, fill in the amount what we has to pay that is 26,920 in our case, we create the chalan. Once the chalan is created, it will reflect below. So now I will pay this chalan.
click on go Uh, this shows that the chalan has been paid. Now once this is done, we move on back to NGDRS website and we just have to click on update status. So once the payment is done, it is going to reflect a payment date over here. For your records, please download this receipt. So here it shows that the chalan has been paid and the receipt is for our reference. Let's download and save it. Then we move on to next, upload documents. Now the final lease deed draft what we have uploaded, since it is the final one, we need not upload again. If there are any changes suggested by the SRO, please make those amendments and upload the same. These are the other documents like PAN card, Aadhaar card, TCP NOC. TDS certificate, power of attorney, board resolution, which all need to be uploaded over here. Once these uploads are done, we move on to data submission and we click on submit application. Choose an appoint appropriate appointment date for your convenience. Select on shift, general shift. And take appropriate time as per your convenience. Just save it. So once this is done, click on this pre-registration summary and here you can see what are the number of pages the appointment timing sub registrar's office address and all the summary of the details which are easily available over here on the date of appointment, you have to take the final printout of lease date on legal paper to the sub registrar's office along with pre-registration docket and other documents like PAN card, Aadhaar card, board resolution and any other document which you all are uploading over here on the online system. Now just as a matter of advice, whenever we are doing this full process of uploading and completing the data uh, on the NGDRS system for lease deed or sale deed or any other document for that matter, please keep PAN card, Aadhaar card, mobile number, email ID handy of all the parties so as to speed up the process. That's it from my guys. Thank you.